I knew I had a problem with alcohol before I officially stopped, but before that, it got progressively worse. It's Tommy here, and this week's video is about what life is like for me after I got sober. So after sobriety, and it's phenomenal. It's way better than it used to be. I'd like to welcome all the newcomers here, and thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button so you get notifications whenever I put out a video. So my dog isn't here, he's grooming, but um, I'm gonna pick him up in a little while. Dude, she looks so handsome. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm gonna look at my notes and I have to wear my glasses. Before I stopped drinking, got progressively worse. So I'm gonna start by same that because you know i was drinking a little bit and then it was a lot then i attempted to stop drinking but unsuccessfully but in the meantime it got progressively worse meaning i was drinking more and more alcohol per day you know like say a little bottle of wine became a big bottle of wine um, so yeah, so that's what I mean by saying got progressively worse and my behavior um, was worse also. You know, I really didn't care much about life, you know, so. All right, so introduction. I knew I had a problem with alcohol for a very long time before I officially stopped drinking. And my clues were that I drank more than my friends. I would drink alone sometimes in my house or I could not stop once I started. And if I did stop, it was a struggle to stay stop. And I experienced blackouts. So that was my clues. I would drink at every opportunity, meaning when I felt good, when I felt bad, when I was angry, when I was depressed or sad or happy, it didn't matter. I, I always wanted to drink, you know, I, I worship my alcohol. So by the time I quit drinking, I was full blown ready to stop. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, literally. I learned a lot about why I was drinking and my feelings based around my drinking. I stopped many times before, but unsuccessfully. When I stopped drinking for the final time, I acquired God in my life. So. Let's just say God was the alcohol before I stopped drinking. Now it was God. So sobriety, God. Um, so I require God in my life and I depended on God whenever I got the urge to drink. So it wasn't frequent because when I finally decided to stop, I was finished. So I might have got an urge for drinking, but when I got that urge, I turned to God. You know, I looked to God. You know, just like the same way you would look to a parent when you have a problem and you're ready to tell them about the problem to get a solution. I went to God instead of going to alcohol. 
One day at a time, I managed to accumulate over 10 years. So I'm in my 11th year sober, and it's been nothing but phenomenal. But I had a little um, stumbling block in the beginning of my sobriety. 87 days into my sobriety, I had a major stroke, which some say would be a good, great excuse to go back to drinking. But I wasn't going to have it. I refused because now I had God in my life and I knew that I was done with drinking. Even though I had a stroke and I couldn't talk, walk, my right side was paralyzed. Even though those circumstances came about after 87 days sober, I still refused to drink. I was done with drinking. I said, God is using me. So I looked at it like a positive, you know, reference to my getting a stroke from God that he wanted to use me to motivate and inspire people to never give up. So I wrote down, um, yeah, just that. And it, I said, God is using me to teach people never to give up with anything in life. And so that was my ammunition from God to keep going and keep me going sober. At first, I have to concentrate on staying sober, which was more or less easy because I had it with the drinking. You know, I, you know, I was done. I knew deep down this was not me or what I was supposed to be like. Nobody is supposed to be a drunk. Nobody. And I knew that 10 years before I started drinking excessively, I was more or less normal. You know, I was a normal mother, normal wife, normal business owner, normal instructor. You know, I didn't have that obsess um, obsessive compulsion to drink all the time, all the time. So I knew that it wasn't me, and I knew that God didn't intend for me to be a drunk. But then once I got my stroke, I had to focus on working on getting back what I could get back after my stroke. Example, speech, walking, my right side. I had to focus on that rather than staying sober, but I did stay sober anyway. But I was gun ho after I quit drinking to improve my life once and for all and I was excited. So when I got sober, I knew I wanted this to get sober and I was excited, but then I got my stroke. So that kind of put the sobriety recovery on back burner and I had to recover on my stroke first, but I still didn't drink it. I want to reinforce that. I was excited to get back to the person God intended me to be. So I began knitting, researching my field of fitness and studying what's up and coming. And I was having a full life. Before, I didn't have a full life. I was drinking and chasing my past. Um, you know, I was chasing my tail. I, I always use that expression because I was trying to figure out who hurt me. I had a pity party all the time. You know, it was not never my fault. You know, that's what I was consumed with when I was drinking. You know, go figure. I was doing my things, but once I stopped, I was drinking and I, I cared only about drinking. I didn't know what to do with myself because I was always drinking, but then the Lord revealed 
to me what I was supposed to be doing. But I was gung-ho after I quit drinking to improve my life once and for all. And I was excited. I was excited to get back to the person God intended me to be. So I began to do things productively. Say the first month, I didn't know what to do with myself because I was always drinking. But then the Lord revealed to me what I was supposed to be doing recovering from my drinking and once I had my stroke, stroke recovery. So in points I said stroke recovery and my sobriety was number one on my priority list. Then I began teaching once a week after about a year and a half after my stroke. Then I was personal training. I started a YouTube channel. I learned how to edit videos. I started working with my brother as a bookkeeper. I had a full life. Drinking was long, longer a day. I'm so glad. So 2010, the 7th 15th is my sobriety date. 2011, March 8th, I had my stroke. 2012, I started my YouTube channel. 2015, I started uploading videos for my YouTube channel, but then I started working on the bookkeeper. So I was more or less, you know, haphazardly uploading. So I finally stopped. Now I'm doing it again. Because once I got my stroke, I didn't have the energy to do all. You know, like I said, I was knitting, uh, I was researching about my field. Uh, but then I, once I got a stroke, I lost use on my right hand to finagle more or less things. So I couldn't knit anymore. It, it, it became, you know, a challenge. So, Life is certainly better without alcohol. No more confusing. Waking up wondering what I said or did the night before or the day before. I'm growing and evolving every day. So that's, you know, something to look forward to. My growth, my maturity, you know, my positive thinking, positive thoughts, happiness all the time. You know, maybe 1% of 100% I'm unhappy or sad or in a funk, then I coach myself out. Uh, I'm happy 99% of the time. And I got my dog Zeus, which keep, you know kept me going. I didn't think I can handle having a dog because not only you know did my stroke slow me down, I got tired, you know, very fast. But you know, I was able to take care of the dog and he got me further along in my recovery. I moved to Puerto Rico. I got a brand new car, my business, and I started up an online business with training, one-on-one -on -one training and fitness classes. And I wrote an ebook. So this is all positive stuff after my sobriety and it feels so good so good because this is the person that i was intended to be all right you know so before we go on i just want you to hit the like button and the subscribe button and then we'll talk about my sobriety some more okay so with um my sobriety you know it's it kind of stinks a way I I got sober and then I got a major stroke. It it sinks um, in a way, but I learned to change that thinking around because I have to, you know, I had to change, turn that thinking around that it stinks and serve others. So that's what made me, you know, do a YouTube channel and that's what's making me go back into fitness. Two years, um, I'm back into fitness online. But I did teach um, at a gym. You know, 
if I can help anybody, I want to. So that's my intention, to help people get healthy and even to help disabled people or brain injury people or people overweight that think that this is it. Because I thought my life was over after my show. Although I did get sober, I had, you know, to contend with the stroke. Um, but, I, you know, it all happened at a perfect time because had I not stopped drinking, I could have been dead. You know, I might not have been here to talk about it. So I'm glad I stopped drinking and then I got a stroke. But it was still difficult. Um, so I'd say it was eight years after my stroke before I finally felt strong. And then I got the dog, then I got online um, fitness programs, and I did my ebook, you know, after about eight years after my stroke. So you're talking eight years that. I didn't give up from my stroke recovery when I could have easily gone back to drinking. Easily, because eight years, who will wait eight years to finally get themselves back? You know, I'm just saying. But I'm not saying, you know, I deserve a medal. I don't know what kept me going. I, I know who kept me going, God, because um, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I'm just like you, you know, a human being. I, I am determined and I'm strong will, but even still, I was depressed in the beginning on my stroke. I couldn't tie my shoe. I had to learn everything, everything. It would have been so much easier just to give up and let people take care of me, I'm telling you. But you gotta keep fighting, you know? My life is so much better. Had I not drank in the first place as much, I might not have gotten a stroke, who knows? But I can't think like that. I did get a stroke and I did stop drinking and you know, so yeah, so I'm gonna stop now.